Welcome to today's video, everybody. We are in Australia. I am back home. We're actually in Melbourne, though, not Queensland. I wish I was in Queensland because it's a little warmer here. This is my friend Jason. Some of you guys in Australia might know him. He runs a thing called um, Keep It. What? what Keep is? It Reet. Keep It Reet. My bad. I'm joking. I know what it is. Keep It Reet runs actually some of the coolest car giveaways here in Australia, and we'll look at some of those in a little bit. But one of my favorite cars of Jason is this this wagon. Oof. Oof. My wagon. Oof. Barrow wagon. Barrow wagon. Anyways, I got ahead of myself, but we're gonna be drifting at his Friday night event tomorrow night. So you guys will get to see a really cool video of that. And I'm shredding in this really cool pink 32, which we'll get inside and show you in a little bit. But I just wanted to introduce you it's to the man. It's in perfect condition. It's in perfect condition. Yeah, grade Point four, eight. grade 4.5 at USS and Tokyo no Auction. Damage. No damage whatsoever. Never never had a door <laughs> mark on never it thrashed. at all. Yeah, never thrashed. Yeah. <laughs> One Jeez. owner. One owner, yeah. <laughs> Grandma had it. <laughs> 100%. 100%. It's going to be a good time. But yeah, I just wanted to do a massive shout out to Jason and his channel. I'm going to put his link in the description, guys, because we would not be here if it wasn't for him. But let's go look at some cool cars. Are you sure now? Are you sure you want to let me... Mint condition. Mint condition? As you can see, straight away. Straight away. <laughs> I like this. Neo 25. Got a got a Freddy. We got a carrot. No, we got a high figure. <laughs> high figure. <laughs> oh, man. This looks great. This is totally great for even got the helmet to match for you. Oh. Yeah. And that's from Japan. That actually? Like did you buy this at like up garage yeah. or something? They don't tell you one, but probably not as Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily this video goes out after we've already driven. That's cool. Dude, I love this. This livery looks sick. So, so why the name Keep It Reet? Please explain um, that. So funnily enough, it was actually a joke with mates. Um, yeah. as all started. good things generally are. Yeah, yeah, it was all a joke and like I actually started my first um, track day. Um, because my friend was building a car and I was like, we need to get you on track, but he was a bit nervous doing the normal days. So um, I just started an event and I was like, okay, name it. Everyone's talking about like keep it straight and whatever. So we just did a flip, um, <laughs> keep it reaped, reaped like a bit of a word between mates. And um, and yeah, we just made it happen, had a good time. And then it just stuck. Everyone's, everyone like enjoyed the event so much. We just kept on doing them and, and eventually made like public events and, and then our car giveaways and blah, blah, blah. It's a, a bit of a story, but um, that's cool today. and now we're here and there's a pink 32 with my name on it That's and it. i love that are you bank some doors? oh man i can't wait so the yeah. track we're driving is like pretty high speed entries reverse entries that kind of stuff yeah so um i'll probably compare it a little bit to like a mayha style entry okay it's like you come in nice run up and there's actually a bit of a wall that you kick around hey so you can sort of weight shift it around the wall and throw huge yep. backward entries whatever hang and, on um, keep going I'm just yeah. looking how nice the rear end looks right now. Yeah. Just, just, just remember getting, that. Just getting evidence. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> I'm just getting evidence for him. Perfect. I'm glad they're not the expensive four-door sedan tail lights. Oh, look. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, there's a little damage there. Nah, nah. nah. Hasn't, <laughs> run, hasn't run any walls. Hasn't run any walls. <laughs> One owner. <laughs> Let's have a look on the interior. Love the naughty wheel. Hello Kitty. I love like the Japan vibes in this. Oh, nice buckets. All right. Like that. Some, uh. Mario stuff going on there in the dash. Nice. Damn. Standard handbrake. A lot of the, most of the cars have standard. Oh yeah, dude, they drive so well. Like I drove my S15 with that for like so many years, and it was just great. So stock internals like Neo. Yep, dead stock Neo, just with a head gasket. Studs. And yeah. studs. Yeah, E85. Yep. Um, your nice floppy LS coil packs, which is you pointed out before. Don't worry about that. No, that's fine. Doesn't She'll be right. She'll be yeah. mate. As long as it doesn't miss fire, it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got the hyper gear turbo. Yep. And running, I think it's running 25 psi ish. Oh, cool. Jesse will probably correct me, but yeah. 25 psi ish, making 412 rear wheel kilowatt. Rear wheel kilowatts. All horsepower. right. What is that in horsepower? All right, everyone in the comment section, translate that for us. 412, you said? Yeah, 1,000 horsepower. 1,000? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> round it up. Why isn't it 420, man? If you work in American things, you just round it up as well. It'd be 580. 580 ish? On, on a hub dyno. Hub dynos are over or under? Over. Over? So, yeah. um, yeah. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. You, those it's are like fighting words. 500 horsepower at the tire, I reckon. Okay. Roughly. And you're running 235s on this? Yeah, 235. Jeez. She's gripped up though. Toad. Okay, all right. Toad in. Beast. Yeah. All right, I like that. It's got some, it's got your GK Tech knuckles, mm -hmm. steering locks. Mm -hmm. It's got some very worn federal tires on there. I like that. Oh, we can't say tire brands. No, I'm fine. We're good. Yeah. No, we're fine. You're lose we're your fine. Deal. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> That's sick, man. So GK Tech parts. I love the boys. Oh, will any of the guys be there from GK? I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Go hit up. Go hit him up. <laughs> 
Zach. I'm super excited. Yep. I'm so excited to drive this. Dude, it's been so long since I've bashed on a good RV. Like my 33.4 hasn't been running in, in Japan for, I mean, it runs, it just, it's sad, uh, you know. Nah, you'll love it. She's punchy ass. It's got twin plate clutch, the Ooh. strong gearbox, standard diff. We've got a few spare diffs and axles. Just saying like, you know, don't, don't tell me it's unbreakable because I have a bad reputation. <laughs> well, it's been through me and a few other guest drivers so far. Right. Yeah, but it hasn't it's been right. through hasn't me been yet. Through Actually, I've seen your track record. <laughs> Backing it into walls and stuff like that, or whatever. <laughs> Breaking unbreakable axles, both at the same time. Yeah, I, that, that one I, is still a mystery to me, but anyway. So I'll treat this like my Australian um, missile, my, my chaser. It's four doors, so it's perfect for that. It's Love it. I'm excited. And then uh, what else you want to see? there's some other cool stuff. We'll get to this in a little bit. I'm really excited about this, mainly because of the plumbers, copper pipe, dose pipe. Um, for those who don't know, this is the the pinnacle of Australian engineering and the world's best, the Australia's best car that was ever produced. And it came from the factory with these painted eyelids here. <laughs> a hint of sarcasm here, guys. This is my baby, honestly. Yep. Four liters of goodness. <laughs> Turbo, ghetto j pot, no tune. Absolutely loves it. <laughs> It's a pinnacle of Australian. Do you want to hear a dose? Future, future. I would love to hear a dose. I'm just loving the, the, the engineering for this catch can. He can pour it back in when it fills up. First start, straight. Nice. The SARS, um, I love the, the boost controller. This is sick. And uh, is, this, is this my daily while we're here? It is your daily, yeah. It's a bit of a surprise. I surprised you when it came. I told him he got a rental car. Next minute, nice standard rental car. Next minute. Loving hey, this. Next good. minute, I haven't heard that in a while. A I'm just going to check. Uh, yeah, every AU has a pile of uh, fresh oil under it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, also 5,000 silicon joiners. 5,000. We've got a uh, lock diff. What else you got? She got some good big lock knuckles for those tight um, U-turns. Oh, there's oil on my hands now. We Don't call, know where that came from. We call it the stanky leg. The stanky leg. Like, like moves when my <laughs> moves. I love this thing, man. God, we need to ship a couple of these to Evie soon, jump them or something. And oh. Barris. And Barris. Yes, Barris. It's not a Barra, but. Not a Barra. It's kind of what became the Barra, right? And straight stick, so. Yeah. Single this is this was before the barra and the barra was after this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know my forward stuff too well, but nice. You're not missing out on too much. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> this is the future of drift right here. No, oh, this is I this mean, is Australia. Yeah, is it the cheap? The cheap is they going up at the moment. But I'm sure they'll come yeah. back down. But no, I'm actually really enjoying like seeing how everyone's like adapting to the current like market of all the cars that we used to use for drifting, and they're all like you know getting 350Zs or AU Falcons and all those cheap kind of cars and making them driftable. Right now in uh, Japan it's Fugas and 350Z. So there's a lot of Fugas, the V8 Fuga. Um, no tons way. of people are shredding those. It's pretty much like the 350Z platform, the G-Wagon, but uh, it's got like a V8 in it. It's pretty cool. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> what about like angle kits? Angle kits like yeah, pretty so easy to do? Yeah, some, a uh, few places do some cut and shots, the AU house ones in this. Nice. Um, and they're actually really good. They've done yeah. a good job because this thing steers. Amazing, we'll have to throw you in it. All right, yeah, <laughs> I definitely got to shred this. I want some Mang Langs tomorrow. I mean, it's not no hold in Ecotech, but it definitely uh, <laughs> definitely shreds. A too. Yeah, definitely a few Mangs. Talk for days. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'm so excited to drive this. And then uh, we got an A80 Super here with probably the biggest turbo I've ever seen. I judge turbos by how big they are on, on the size of my head, and that's definitely bigger than yeah, my head. That's a big one. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what it is. It's like in comparison to Garrett things like G40. That is huge. Nah, man, that's it's like a G50 or something. That's like housing that. is massive. huge. Like that rear housing is ginormous too. So what's this one? What's the story in this one? So we just picked this one up. Uh, it's actually our next giveaway car. So um, giveaways we started at um, COVID times because uh, we're basically events business and um, and to save us through COVID times, um, we figured, yeah, we'd start giving away some cards and, and that'll help us fund our events. Yep. Um, so this is one here yeah, we just picked up. We just finished, I think we did a 260Z and we've got, yeah, this. So we picked it up, with, it was pretty, pretty much half done. Someone had built it and they wanted it, to move it on and, and we just finished up some of the cooler piping exhaust. Oh, nice. Um, we got it all tuned up and yeah, which is a, a bit of a weapon making over 500 kilowatt on- Jeez. I can't remember how many boosts, but all the boosts and 
laggy amount of boosts. Well, yeah, it's a big turbo. <laughs> this is probably more built for like drag racing, I'd say, but yeah, this looks straight line. insanely cool. That's cool. So these giveaway cards are only available to people in Australia? It's Australia and NZ at the okay. moment. Australia and New Zealand. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, so we're branching out to New Zealand a bit. Yeah. yeah, but that's cool. awesome, dude. Like. Super 2JZ, biggest turbo I've ever seen in my life. Like, I don't think it could you could get any bigger because it's like pressed up against the strut tower there. This is nice. I'm sure so many people out there. And what's like a ticket cost? Yeah, uh, as little as 30 bucks. 30 bucks. You can get in, one, take one of these home. Yeah, so if you guys live in Australia or New Zealand, link down in the description and uh, get on this. When's this dropping? So this, depending on this video drops. This okay. might not actually be live yet, so it's actually dropping the next Friday. The next so, Friday, so like a week from now, you pretty can much. You see all the info on our website. Yeah, uh, all right. Well, I'll put all the info in the description, guys, like to get onto their website so you can hang out for this, because that's super cool. Now, probably the craziest car here has to be this. I love R31 wagons, and I have to say, like, as much as it pains me to not see an RV30 in there, you put probably the only other engine I would approve of. The Barra. The, the Barra. Barra. So yeah, this is basically my dream build right here. Built it over six months or something last mm -hmm. year. And um, yeah, absolutely stoked with how it came out. Um, I wasn't sure about the, the Barra platform because not many people are competitively drifting with them. No, they aren't, they, right? A s absolutely insane motor. Like yeah. this makes 580 rural kilowatts, so 800 horsepower, I think. Um, and that's a stock engine. Like it's been pressed really? up with rings and pistons. Yeah, that's a stock internal engine. Jeez. Just with the same, like all the bolt-ons, the head gasket, head studs. Should we? Oil pump gear. Um, I don't know, V85 and boost, and they just make insane power. I'm just, like, now I'm starting to like think about like next year's season yeah. for FD for me. I'm like, hmm, 2JZ in the bin, uh, bring up a couple actually, barrows over. I'm actually interested if like what the, what people have pushed these. I'm sure there's some numbers somewhere yeah. where people push these stock. It's well, like I know, I know people coming. have made a thousand horsepower on a stock block internals on yeah. these. Now, was that reliable? No, most likely not. Didn't last like longer than, too long, I but. Know. I think they're pretty good though. Like, yeah, they they've always made good numbers. Like you just gotta do like the basic stuff, like I think oil pump chains and like you gotta do yeah. some stuff there or something, but. I feel like this is, as far as you push it, especially if you're drifting it, 800 horsepower, not bad. Yeah, when you're That's thrashing, good. Thrashing it like and crazy. It, yeah, it's been holding up really well. And this is your competitive drift car here in Australia. Yeah, so I do the national series here and this is the car I'm hoping to send to um, every D1 NZ next year. Um, Jeez. Second in the championship. Yeah, you're second right now, place overall. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Place. We had a bit of a, a bingle last round. He is. With the snail campaign, so he was a bit... Uh, <laughs> snail <laughs> campaign? All right, don't start any drama, man. Getting the banter. Oh, man. Um, uh, if you guys don't know yet, Aussie's like, it seems like we're just having a go at everyone, but it's banter and it's totally okay, all right? I'm just making sure you guys all understand that, like, we just make fun of each other, but we, we that's how we show you love for one another, all right? That's that's I the Aussie even, way. I haven't even given it to you yet. Uh, yeah. like, Not me. I've only met you, like, half an hour ago. That's true. I gave it to you in like some of the pre stories. Yeah. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's it's coming. coming. So you're not, you're not out of Let's it. keep it on the track then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this that was um, a bit bad. Now we haven't finished this. Week. We've still got to do one. Yeah. But tomorrow we'll be taking it out. But now uh, we've put some spicy K uh, VSK the VSKFs. For you. Your game, man, Oof. to put those on there. 11 and a half on the rear. Jeez, spicy. that is spicy. Uh, but yeah, she's ready for, to go for the next next round. But yeah, we've got. Um, a bit shut off on the chase or battling for the first and second place. Yeah. But like we'll track Winton and um, I sort of just, yeah, he shunted me on the rear end, didn't give myself enough room. I did stuff up, it was a little bit my fault, but more <laughs> that he was slow. So. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Going for the top spot. Sure, man. Man. Yeah. So she had a bit of a, a, a bent up side, but she's perfect yeah. now. Honestly, like when I saw it in the video, uh, which I'll put a clip in. It looked like you tank slapped so hard, and I thought, like, geez, the chassis is probably twisted. But no, it came out real good, man. Glad so it didn't get too damaged. Yeah. It's all about the square line. Yeah. Nice they don't make cars like that anymore. <laughs> but it's still pretty light. That's yeah. Much this way. It's like 13, 1400. It's like an yeah. S13. Yeah. Um, that's with the cage, everything, and the yeah. apparently heavy barra. And the is front amazing. end, I know a lot of people do like S chassis conversions, like for the front end. Is that what you did there too, to like get everything sorted? or? Yep. So this is the Australian Y, so we call it the Acostal. Set up. Um, mm. So he's actually like CAD drawn the K frame, everything, so you can move the rack forward and back. Oh, cool. And all that. And and his knuckles, which have adjustable Ackerman and everything, they're like, yeah, full CAD drawn, crazy. Sick. Adjust a little pin and you can change, you have more or less Ackerman. So it's S13, S14. It's S14 stuff up front. Um, 
and ish. What are you doing in the rear? You got an independent rear end on that? Because I know the other thing we we're unsure about, but that my old car, which is a, a 1JZ wagon, that did me so well. Had good grip, didn't break anything, so uh, let's just try it again for the start. Maybe go to independent, but it's doing doing really well, and it's proven itself That's so crazy. far. That's pretty crazy. It's actually got so it's got the Ford engine, and it's got not a full gearbox. It's got a GeForce gearbox, dog box. Oh nice. It's got the Ford diff. <laughs> so oh, like the nine inch Ford it's rear not end. Nine inch. It's the one down. So it's oh, like okay. Eight okay. and three eight, quarter or something. Eight, yeah. Eight, I think it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going like the build. And it holds the power, the eight hundred. Yeah, it loves oh. it. I think these are. I can't remember what he told me. I think he said it was like a thousand horsepower rated diff and axles nice. and all that. Um, all right, so we're definitely then. testing it out. It's been good so far. We've got spare axles. Haven't needed them yet. Yeah, don't let me drive it. <laughs> I want to keep it straight and not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is cool. So that's a G Force. Yeah, the G Force. Nice. Oh, dude, you got all like the stock interior in there too. It looks so good. Yeah, all rewired with like all the Howtech Nexus stuff. Oh, that's sick. Switch panel. It's got the anti lags, off throttle. Jeez, all um, the cage stuff. Full cage, yeah. Nardo great. Wait, this has any lag? Yeah. Warm her up. Yeah, we'll have to warm her up. Warm her up. up. Let's go. Shoot some flames. But you can't skip the best part. Well, what? The best part. But What's also the, the guy part? that did all the Acostal stuff. Yeah. That handbrake. Have a look at that. You haven't sussed it yet. When you push down, that's the front brakes. And when you pull up, that's the twin calipers kit in the rear. Yeah, it's the rear. So yeah, down, full brake. So you don't have to go moving your feet around and stuff like that. You can concentrate, you can keep your foot on the clutch, ready to, to get hard back on the power and ready to also do a normal handbrake, but also ah. you can sort of just sit on their door nicely by pushing By just down. pushing down. And do you find like you use that a lot? I have been, we've only just changed some stuff to make That's it work. That's interesting. Good, because it wasn't seeming to huh. 100%. So you're not left foot braking on tandems, you're just pushing down on this? So they're not skilled for left foot braking, so that's my <laughs> That's so cool. So this is like an inline that's just only hooked to the front brakes, not the, not the rear at all. That's right. Ah. That's fancy. Yeah, that is very, very fancy. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it doesn't touch the top one at all when you go down and when you pull up. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder like if that becomes like a thing. I'm sure like FD or someone would probably ban that real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It'll become a thing. It'll become popular. Right? It will, I reckon. All the unskilled drippings like myself yeah. and yourself and myself. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I'm 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 not the first person to admit I'm not the greatest drifter in the world. I've seen you saying that you're doing all this foot brake and left foot brake and then heel toe, but you're lying. You got no foot camera in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's All really right. got one of these. I'm just too lazy to edit. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to edit the different angles. Uh, you want some? Yeah, some give me ice? some beans. I call it the beans. We won't limit about shit like Jesse did. Yeah, yeah. The All right. we'll, yeah. We'll let her warm up. Let her warm up a bit and make sure it's not in here. Yeah, make sure it doesn't jump into the super. <laughs> We'll be back in a few short minutes after she warms up. Okay, I think. Can you hear me? I can hear you. 
should, um, for next year, we just do some Barras instead of two Jay-Zs in my comp car. What do you think? Yeah. Barra, bring some Barras to Japan and show them what's up. What's Stock up? internals, yeah. make 800 horsepower yeah. and just go, yo. Yeah. Is that a turbo motor? Yeah, it is turbo. Okay. There's different models that, have, that do have a little bit different strength. So that's, I think that's a like VA or VF. I think they've got the strongest. Because I know some people were doing, like building the LPG motors or something, and or the NA motors. It's the LPG, I think, is the same. They've got a strong bottom end, but they've got high comp heads or something like that. Oh, okay. Or maybe the, like the dome and the pistons, like high comp. I need a Barra Guru to like DM me and just tell me all the info so I know, because I definitely need to learn all that stuff before I decide to just ship a bunch of Barras over to Japan. We've got a, we've got a uh, Barra Guru around the corner. Oh, you do? Here, like industry. He doesn't even sponsor me on giving a shout out. He gave me a lot of sponsors. He gave me a lot of this. He actually helped your mate, Adam LZ. So oh, did he? Hit him up. Oh. And he'll build you the ultimate motor. He's got a lot of the parts are on this. Like What's his name? Gas steering, relocate. Mitch Mackey from Mackey. Mitch Lake. Mackey. From where? Mackielek. 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 That sounds like such an Australian company name. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Mackie from Mackielek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, man. I'm just like, I love that. It's so Aussie. Cool, man. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to uh, be in the... You going to take me for a passenger run yeah, tomorrow in this? Thank you for a while. So, um, this will be our first test with the, the off-throttle end for that. So the, mm. the button, the big explosions were the actual... That's just the crowd pleaser. Yeah, yeah. We're rolling through the, the pits. That's the um, the button anti lag. Yeah. We've got to test the off throttle anti lag. Um, that's cool. And, and this is small turbo already. Like yeah, that looks maxing, tiny for that. That's crazy. Maxing out, maxing out at 23 psi. So, um, but that's sort of how I set up all the cars. Like, yeah. Make almost the smallest turbo to get max response and sort of the good amount of power. And when they run out up top, I actually find it grips up a bit more up top. Um, okay. Instead of just blazing and going slower. Yeah. So that's how I've got it set up, it's maxed out. Nice. So I don't have huge amount of lag, but why not have no lag? Yeah, I would like that. <laughs> like, it's like my worst enemy of it. Man, I just dig this thing so much. I've always had a sweet spot for 30, 31 wagons, and this just looks awesome. The Series 1 front end, and the fenders, it's just so cool. Like, you just don't see anyone building drift cars like this, like comp drift cars, you know? Well, that's what drift's all about, isn't it? Something yeah. Something stands out. Um, Definitely. I feel like it's a show at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, that's, and I mean, a lot of what we do is Japan culture. Like, yeah. I haven't shown you the, the VIP car yet, but Ooh. just the, like, I feel it's just about, it's about half about show. And yeah. Like, an expression of yourself. Yeah. And then having fun and, and all that sort of stuff. Not Definitely. Not so much pressure on everything. It's just about a good time. About a good time, it definitely <laughs> is. Currently in the process of signing some fairly sick posters for you guys for tomorrow night. I love this pen. I'm feeling funny. It's a little, a little strong on the fumes, this paint pen. We just got our car to get around. We got in our whip, boys. The mighty AU Falcon. It sounds so good. I love this car. This is amazing. This might be the best car I think Jason owns. Yeah. This is brilliant. Look how much it's done. 308,000 kilometers. How is this thing still alive? And they <laughs> turboed it too. Oh man. Classic. You know, Australian engineering. Just don't make cars like this anymore, you know? One thing I really miss about Australia is just how beautiful the sunsets are here. Like, Japan gets beautiful sunsets from time to time, but for real, Australia, every night, amazing sunsets. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, I just feel like they all give you the goods. Speaking of the goods, listen to this mighty falcon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna blow this thing up before it even gets to the Friday night drift. <laughs> How's the clutch? The clutch is terrible. <laughs> it's, it's very stiff. And th this car makes a lot of noises that make me feel very safe. <laughs> but hey, at least it's warmer here. It doesn't have heat, but the transmission's heating up enough. Yeah, it's nice. Nice, toasty. My butt's a bit itai. Yeah, we're in bucket seats, like full-blown bucket seats. The bottom cushions, I think, have been taken out. Yes. <laughs> She's a little raw. It's okay. Good morning, 
everybody. We're in the trusty steed, the AU Falcon. I don't know, do you turn wipers on on this? I don't even know, bro. All right. I miss roundabouts, I will say. I did miss a good roundabout. They don't even exist in Japan. <laughs> this thing is awesome. We need to uh, get the Keeper Reed boys to build us like three or six of these and we'll just get them all shipped over in a container. I think it just needs to happen in Japan. Could you imagine like all of us ripping an AU Falcon from interior? <laughs> Has to happen, right guys? <laughs> they all impressive. have to dose like this. It is impressive. Is it the world's best feeling, most comfortable car to drive in the world? No. <laughs> but, is it cool and make all the good noises? Yes. I'm loving the uh, ingenuity on this build. This is like uh, for roofs, for plumbers, for like the <laughs> flashing to stop water leaking in the roof. So like that goes around the pipe, the vent pipe that goes up through your roof for your toilet. Um, there's literally, yeah, a toilet pipe rubber for a shift boot. I love Creative. it. Look, look and see, 100 mil, 35 mil, 70 mil. <laughs> love it. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, lads. We're going to leave today's video here. Um, the police are right there. Come over here, please. I don't want to give him a chance. Are they going? Now that the coast is clear. If you guys thought that the channel was at its like peak, at its best, well, you were wrong because you never expected to see me driving one of these fine machines down here. And I have to say, I've fallen a little bit in love with it. I don't know if it's just that it's so sketchy that it gives me adrenaline to drive, but um, I think I want to do something with them. So I don't know, maybe we can get a couple of these and some old Commodores or something, get them over to Japan at some point and do something fun. But uh, yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on that. And if you guys have any of these for sale at a really nice price, please let me know. And as well as, as long as you don't mind storing them for a couple months while we organize a shipping container and stuff like that. But anyways, AU Falcon times, boys, in Japan. I think it needs to happen. Japanese wife in an AU Falcon. Yeah, that At know. Ebisu Circuit in Japan. Yeah, that. I'm um, going to probably, like, send it off the cliff. You can then... take the shortcut uh, <laughs> to PV. <laughs> and you know what? Course. What? It's going to still last. It'll it probably, probably will. Still... Yeah, it'll still probably be driftable. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. While this isn't the main reason why we came to Australia, it all kind of worked out to be able to do a trip here. My little sister got married, and we'll get into a few other things with family stuff later on in the next few vlogs. But yeah, I'm excited to be here. Excited to meet a lot of you guys. Can't wait. It's going to be an awesome night. And if you're missing out, you're missing out, and I'm sorry. So with that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next vlog, shredding that pink 32. And uh, hopefully it stays in one piece, but I don't like the chances of it. Peace out. Ciao, Marta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.